Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this Gatling gun animation in Blender. This is part 2 of my Gatling gun tutorial series and you can just do part 1 to learn how to make this Gatling gun or you can get this on my website and support the channel. So uh, let's get started. Before we can animate the gun we need to rig it. So I'm going to start off by setting the object parent to each other and then select an object that is going to control all the other objects. So select all the uh, barrels and then the cylinder on the back and then the cylinder on the front and then click Control P to make the cylinder on the um, front of the gun control the rest of the gun. And then I'm going to select this cylinder and then select the uh, main body and then click Control P to set it parent. And you're going to see why later on. And then I'm just going to uh, select the side and then the main body Click Control P to set it parent to it. And then let's go to the back of the um, gun and select this part as well. Then the main body and then click Control P to set it parent to it. Okay. Now select the main body and then the cylinder and click Control P. And if you go to the front of the gun now and try to control it, so select the front cylinder and then click R then Y to rotate it on the Y axis, you can see that it rotates around. So let's select the cylinder as well, and if we click R then X, it's going to rotate up and down. So we now have control over the um, shooting animation and the um, up and down animation. So select the um, these parts as well, and click Control P, set it parent to the cylinder below the actual gun. To rotate it, click R then Set to rotate it on the set axis. Now set the cylinder parent to the rest of the um, parts of the Gatling gun and then we're done with the rigging. So now let's start animating it. Now that the rigging is done we can start uh, the actual animation of the Gatling gun and the way we're going to do that is just to rotate the few parts that we have rigged. So we need to keyframe and then rotate. So I'm going to go to frame let's say frame 40 and then just keyframe click I to keyframe and keyframe the um, rotation and then move forward a few frames so let's go to frame 120 and then just increase the set value to make it rotate on the set axis and then click I again to keyframe and as you see when we go back you now have the um, first part of the animation which is the rotation of the Gatling gun and then we can um, select the other parts and start animating that as well. So click I to keep from the rotation, this one, and then increase the um, Y value to make it rotate. So I'm going to rotate it a few degrees on the Y axis. This is what it looks like. And then click I to keyframe. So you see now it rotates on the z-axis and on the y-axis. And now I'm going to move a few frames forward again and then rotate it on the z-axis a little bit backwards. So let's decrease the set value to make it go back to the place it started like this. And then you want to select the other one and decrease the y value to make it, make it go down a bit like this okay let's make it around here and click i to keyframe you can obviously make whatever rotation you want to make in this um, animation it doesn't really matter that much just play around with it you don't have to repeat whatever i do because it's very basic and you can make whatever animation you want to make so I'm going to move a few frames forward again and and what I'm doing is just moving back and forth on the timeline and giving the different parts of the um, Gatling gun new coordinates or new values to keyframe. So let's um, make this one to set on the no to zero on the set axis to make it go back to its original point. And then do the same on the other part, which rotates on the y-axis. 
and that way it's going to go back to the original rotation when the uh, shooting animation is done. So it's going to go like this and then it's going to rotate to shoot and then it's going back again. So what I'm going to do next is to animate the rotation of the Gatling gun shooting animation itself. So we need to uh, rotate the cylinder, which is the uh, front one, which we set parent to the rest of the uh, barrels, and then we need to rotate it. So first we need to keyframe the start position, and then find the time where we want the um, rotation to stop, or the shooting rotation to stop. So let's go a few frames forward, and let's say it's going to stop shooting around here. So let's go back a little bit and find the position we want it to stop rotating. So let's just rotate it on the y-axis and write in. You should write, write in a pretty high value. So make it 1,500 or 1,500. And as you see now, it rotates and then it goes back to the original position. It kind of looks like a cross now with the uh, gun sights. And what I'm going to do next now is to start animating the camera. So we need to um, select the camera and then uh, we're going to keyframe this location. Let's say from frame zero, we're going to keyframe the camera location and rotation. And then we're going to move a few frames forward and then use the fly cam, which is shift F to move a little bit backwards so that we get the whole Gatling gun in the frame when it's uh, moving like this. And let's see how it goes when it's shooting. Yeah, it fits inside, so it looks good. Now, this is obviously a very short tutorial about the animation itself and the um, movement of the rig. But I think you should just play around with it and I think you can make many cool animations with this um, Gatling gun setup. So, um, I think everything looks good now and we can start fixing the render settings. I think the most important part is that the uh, Gatling gun is inside the frame throughout the animation, which is which it is, and this animation is not really 250 frames, so I think we need to cut down how long the animation is. So in the um, render settings, we should make it about 170 frames, like this. And then we need to change the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and you can make it even higher if you want to, even 60 frames per second. And then we need to find a place where we want to save the uh, finished file from the render, which is going to be a lot of PNG files, which you need to convert into an MP4 file or a QuickTime file afterwards to make it into an actual uh, video file. So let's just make a folder for all of your uh, PNG images of your Gatling gun. And let's find the folder. And then just give the uh, images a file name. I'm just going to call them get. I actually have a uh, tutorial on how to convert PNG images to a video file that you can watch on my channel. So uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to start the animation now. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I will respond pretty quick. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe.